Welcome to another day of my classroom setup. I really think that this may be the last day. If not, I think I'll have one more day of classroom setup. I am so excited to finally be finished with this. I feel like I have been at the school for so long and I'm just so excited to just finally get my classroom setup done. If you saw my last video, you would know that once again, I had a stressful day of classroom setup. It was just like things weren't going as well as I wanted them to. And I had like a little bit of a sinus infection. I'm still kind of feeling just a little bit sore in my throat but nothing too serious and i'm hoping that i can get a good amount of done today in my last video if you saw it you know that i was kind of contemplating about restarting my whole entire classroom setup Bruh. but i decided not to just because i basically have everything done and i didn't want to go ahead and add in more things and i'm just too far in deep right now to completely restart everything so instead of going with the costa rican jungle theme like i had thought i was going to completely redo my classroom setup with i'm in instead just going to dedicate a mural or a bulletin board section of my room to promote Costa Rica and hopefully I can get more kids to travel with us. Right now I have 25 students who are going on this trip and that is absolutely insane to me but I'm so happy that I have a great group of students who are able to go to Costa Rica Aww. so I do want to have a section of that board dedicated to Costa Rica and things like that. So I do have some really really cute hand cut out images of animals and things like that for Costa Costa Rica. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on this wall right now. I'm hoping that it goes well. If you saw my last classroom setup video, you would know that it just was absolute garbage. So I'm really hoping for a successful time today. <laughs>
Sometimes I think about myself I wish I was somewhere else Far from my fear, anxiety Far from my weakness I could be gone, gone But I'm just afraid I refuse to fix the problem And I think I can carry on You can lie, you can try But you'd like to leave this feeling We got to breathe, to dig, to leave the life we are dreaming. It could go wrong, wrong, but I'm just a nest. You must be lonely, but you could be crazy if you keep looking down. Don't you cry no more. section of my room dedicated to promoting our Costa Rica trip and I am just so excited for this trip. This is the first time my school is going on this trip and I've only been in my school for two years so I'm so so happy that they trusted me in leading a group of students to go in a different country like that's just so fantastic that they would have so much faith in me to allow a second year teacher to do that and I'm just so fortunate and I love 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 this idea so much so I want to make sure that I'm promoting it in my classroom. And I think just dedicating a space for some dates and important information in addition to just a little bit of touch of Costa Rica and I'm hoping that this will really inspire students um, who are going on the Costa Rica trip and even those who may not have signed up we are still going to be learning about it a lot so it will still be relevant to our classroom and lessons and classroom discussion so it will benefit all of our students and I just love it there like it adds a nice touch of nature to my classroom and I really do love the animals I think they're so so cute and honestly I'm not quite sure what else I want to do there is a section of my room that I definitely know that I want to put up my own personal photos and personal memories and things like that but I as of right now don't have anything for that space and I'm jealous of all of the other like teacher corners that I see all around YouTube and Instagram and the other teacher vlogs that I've been seeing because it is so cute but the space that I'm envisioning putting stuff on and around it just I don't really think it would turn out as nice as I want it to like I do have really really nice um construction paper. I don't even know what this is called anymore, but I see literally every classroom have this. And I don't even want to say Miss Meyer because the students normally call me Profe and I feel like putting Profe would be just weird. Um, but I would like a spot where I could have my own source of inspiration. But I don't know if I want to do that today. Maybe I could start it today. I'm just not entirely sure what I want to do. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to do. Right here, surprisingly, um, has a whole bunch of important words and I love this section so much. But I'm just realizing like a few days ago that when some of the words printed, they didn't print with a Spanish accent. Some of them did and some of them didn't and I'm not sure why. So instead of going and reprinting out a whole bunch more, I'm just going to color in that accent myself. So I'll do that right now as a low key thing and maybe I'll get to putting up my own personal teacher corner, but I'm not quite sure yet. This is either going to be a really, really good idea or a really, really bad idea because these colors don't quite match up with the colors that I have here, but I'm not worried about it too much because I would rather just do this and have it be a little bit off color compared to reprinting all of these and recutting them all out and retaping them. So I'm hoping this will be my quick fix solution. <laughs> has been bugging me for a really really long time but 
If you're a Spanish teacher out there, you're probably going to hate me because I have been second guessing myself for the longest time. I'm like, does this word have an accent or does it not have an accent? And there's this one word that I swore had an accent for my whole entire life and apparently it doesn't have an accent. I literally researched so much on the internet like trying to see if this thing has an accent. Apparently it doesn't and now my mind is blown because I've always written it with an accent. So language teachers out there, if you know, you know. Um, but I'm happy with this so far. I honestly am not sure what else I'm going to do today. I do have a lot of things at my house. For example, I have this whole pile of fake plants that I want to bring in and I really, really, really just keep forgetting to bring them in and I it annoys me so much, but next time I'm definitely going to bring in my fake plants. And I really don't have anything else today. Um, there are two more things that I want to do in this classroom. One, bring in those fake plants. Two, I want to do my classroom library setup, but I want to do it in a way that's a little bit more efficient, so I don't know if I want to do it with binders or not because I don't have actual books for my classroom library. I just have the papers scattered around my room and it worked for me this year, so I'm not quite sure if I want to do binders and if I do, I may push that off until next year. And my teacher corner, which again I want to do, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. I am going to bring in my own desk because I don't like the desk that I have at my school right now. It's very, very small and tiny, so I'm not quite sure um, if that will change my vision or not. I'm assuming it will, so maybe I'll hold off on that. But today was really, really quick. It was short, and I like a quick and short day. Um, I don't like coming in and spending hours upon hours upon hours doing my classroom setup because it really frustrates me. And for the teachers out there who can literally spend a whole eight-hour workday doing your classroom setup, shout out to you because that's amazing but I'm going to I think stop it for today I'm really really happy with the result that corner has been really been bugging me for the longest time and I'm just so happy that I got it done if you're in your classroom setup phase I wish you the best of luck because it is not easy but if you did enjoy this video or any of my other videos make sure you like it subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here for the long run and I really hope that you're enjoying the rest of your summer because school is literally starting right around the corner